Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Katie Robinson, and this is my little guy Drew. And today we are going to show you guys what we got from um, Costco and from the commissary. This is our week grocery haul stock up for a family of three. So one of the first things that I got is one of our weaknesses. We try to eat pretty healthfully. We try to eat um, pretty organic, pretty natural, pretty unprocessed. But um, one of our big, I would say, weaknesses is these Kirkland Organic Animal Crackers. Now, Drew eats these, Mike eats these, I eat these, our dog Daisy eats these. They're really not great for you, but hey, Everyone needs a little animal cracker now and again. So we got these. We stocked up on these. We do not get those every week. We'll probably get them every like two months or so. Then we stocked up on some of this um, Costco organic Jack's Cantina salsa. Um, this is really awesome. This is medium. It has no artificial preservatives. So we stocked up on that. We stocked up on some Parmesan cheese. Um, and then we also got some torpedo scoops. I use these in a couple crock pot recipes. We're making chicken taquitos and some other things this week, so I got these. Then we eat a lot of bananas. We put them in smoothies. Drew eats them. Drew loves them. Hi. Um, I eat them, so we got these um, at Costco as well. And then we also get all of our diapers and wipes from Costco. If you guys don't know it, their, their diapers at Costco, the Kirkland brand diapers, are actually um, Huggies diapers. They just have a Kirkland logo on them. And then we also got this hand-pulled rotisserie chicken breast meat. I use this a lot in um, recipes. If I know I have a busy week, if I'm tired, I will... Um, grab some of this and just make my life a little easier. So they, if you guys don't know this, it's usually on the end of the meat section. You can ask them, where do you guys have the hand-pulled rotisserie chicken meat? It's a tiny bit more expensive than buying the rotisserie chickens yourself, but unless you're really, really good, um, it may actually be more affordable because you'll get all the meat this way as compared to like not getting it all off of the actual rotisserie chicken. Then I have mixed up some um, chicken a la king, kind of like chicken, cream of chicken, uh, mixed vegetables, and then I make that with these puff pastry shells. I picked these up at the commissary. These are just Pepperidge Farm puff pastry shells. And then um, I got two of these coconut milk pans because I'm making a peanut sauce. I got a container of Colby Jack cheese. Those bananas bubble, two yellow onions, a big old thing of barbecue sauce for a crock pot recipe, some squeezy garlic, and then some vanilla flavoring for coffee, which definitely is not good for you. Some coleslaw. one green pepper, an avocado, blueberries, a lime, cilantro, some strawberries, and then a bunch of chicken breast. Now chicken breast, if you guys want to know, um, there is, this is boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's no antibiotics, vegetarian diet, no added hormones, no steroids, all natural, no preservatives, USDA or organic verified. What I think is particularly interesting, this is cage free and free range. Now what's so good about that is um, cage free is good. If you can get free range, that's even better with your eggs, with your chicken breast meat. Um, if you guys don't know why this is important, um, I grew up on a farm, so I know why this is like really critical and what they live in if it isn't these things. Look it up if you're interested in maybe whether or not it's worth it. I don't buy everything organic. As you guys can see, I have vanilla coffee flavoring here. But there are things like look up the dirty dozen for fruits and vegetables and what is important and why. Then we got some rice noodles. Thai peanut sauce mix. 
some regular tortillas and some corn tortillas. Now, what we do as a family usually is we um, we stock up on all of our organic items, our milk, our juices, things like that. And we buy our orange juice from Costco. We're good on that because we stocked up a couple weeks ago and it was last week. Um, we also buy all of our milk, our yogurt, our cheese, usually from Trader Joe's when I go and I get some organic veggies for Drew Man over here. So that's why there's no milk products in this haul, um, no half and half, anything like that. But this is pretty much our weekly grocery haul for this week. We'll, um, we'll stock up again probably next weekend and we're good to go. If you guys are interested in our grocery hauls and how much we spend on groceries, we spent... How much did we spend? We spent around, I think, $110 this week on groceries. Our weekly budget is $100. Um, and that's including Costco, that's including the commissary, and that is also including, um, where else? Uh, Trader Joe's this week. So we really do try to keep it at a $100 budget. Um, if you guys want to talk more about what I get on other weeks, or you want to see more grocery hauls and how I balance this out, I'll let you know. I'll keep you posted and make sure you hit the thumbs up button and hit subscribe if you want to see more haul videos like this, more cooking videos like this, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!